All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Camping Buddies. This is episode nine. This one's going to be a little bit weird. Alyssa Cat is not here for this one, but we do still have Bone Sword, Tech Drops Major, and our good friend Kelly. I, however, am visiting California, and I am here in person. This is your guys' first time seeing me. And any of this time. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I never had one on my channel, and this is the first time. This is a face reveal, I suppose. It, kind of, it really is a face reveal. I mean, if you impressed, kind of, not really. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think uh, the first thing you kind of wanted to knock out in the podcast, uh, Kelly has the most knowledge about. Maybe I don't know if Kelly like really read into the game awards at all. That literally just happened. <laughs> Well, there's a bunch of shit that came out that looked really cool. I'm talking about the trailers. Um, the biggest one, the biggest game that was awarded was It Takes Two. Have you guys oh, heard yeah. of that one? Fuck yeah, I didn't even know that. Was mm. it like a super, super high award or it's, some shit? It was rated Game of the Year. Game oh, of the shit. Year. Dude, it's mm. literally that good. It's so it's mm. so much fucking fun. It's from the same guys that did that one game with the... Uh, the Prisoners, Yeah, yeah. The There's guy was like cock, cool cock of the walk when he was accepting that award. I didn't hear anything he said because I was at work, but he looked so happy. He looked so cocky. I was like, "You fucking do that, dude." He looked yeah. cocky. I mean, I think he deserves to be. It's a well, really not cocky, game. but like very proud. Like you can feel how proud he is about it. He should be. It's an awesome game. Mm -hmm. yeah. I saw some gameplay of it. It looked pretty complex. Like every single level has a different mechanic. Like. You yeah, throw yeah. a nail, you hit it or something like that. It looked really cool. Yeah, so one of you was the hammer, one when you could like throw nails. It was really cool. And then there was like one where uh you can turn into plants and she can like water them as well as like gun them down or something like that. It was it was so much fucking fun. They just tried so much stuff and it worked super fucking well. We actually talked about it on the podcast before. Yeah, it's been on one of our episodes. Yeah, it was it was really fucking fun. Oh my gosh. I think I think uh, I think Alyssa would like to hear that 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 uh, got I think I saw that it was on sale for like Black Friday, and I thought about getting it, but I didn't know who else I'd play with since you guys already. <laughs> since already beat it, I mean, you can totally play with Sam. Like, it's up anyone's alley to play this game. Sam's not a gamer though. You don't have to be. That's what I'm saying. You do not have to be a gamer. This is like couples therapy. It's literally I couples therapy. therapy. It's super I doubt good. it'd be for. I wouldn't do it with a couple. If you have low patience for each other, do not fucking play this game. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. Well, no, no fucking really hit it there, you dumb bitch. Fuck that. I want a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. like, I mean, like, um, me and this <laughs> are fucking a couple, so like, it makes sense when you say that. Yeah. But at the same time, I'm you like, fight all the time, and it doesn't mean shit because you're not. In a couple yeah, we're not. Days. We're not. It's not like we're like, like being real about it either yeah. it's just a fucking joke it's all games it's all games oh my god this shit fucking soul <laughs> it slaps dude yeah. this is i don't remember even being that good was that mm -hmm. good anyway uh i don't know we're so, older than 21 by the way yes yeah, <laughs> i fucking guess that matters um i Wanted to talk about uh, also at the Game Awards. The only thing that I really know was like a really big thing was Sonic Two. Um, that was in the Game uh, Awards. Yeah, they, the they dropped the trailer for it there. Oh, that's where it was dropped. Oh, shit. Yeah, and honestly, Knuckles is pretty fucking cool in my opinion. Uh, it's kind of weird that uh, Tails and Sonic don't know each other, but Tails is like, "I'm yeah, finally that, here." I don't know. Um, what's his name? Adris as as what's his fucking name? Uh, Adris Elba. Elba. He Adris plays Elders. Knuckles. Yeah, he. I was telling this to Hector yeah. earlier. He said that he is gonna try his hardest to make sure that Knuckles isn't sexy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No one was know. asking for him to be sexy in the first place, but. Sure. I mean, at least he's guaranteeing, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you know why? Because, like, he thinks, like, all the women swoon after him. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's saying, I think it was, like, something along the lines of he just has, like, that perfect voice or something like that, so he doesn't want to make Knuckles sound like, never you mind, is, girl. Is there any I other mean, he could try all he wants. 
don't know if um, I know who he is. He was uh, <laughs> what's his name from Suicide Squad two? He was a. Uh, Wait, he was he guy? was Deadshot, not Deadshot. Uh, fucking Bloodsport. Oh Blood. He was Bloodsport. That's, That's him. That's Bloodsport. Mm-hmm. Bloodsport. Bloodsport was the uh, guy who was like neck and neck with John Cena during that entire movie. He's like the. He's literally the main character. What's his his name? Idris. Idris Zelbra. <laughs> <laughs> that's not right. <laughs> <laughs> that's not right. Something like look it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, he can try not to be sexy all he wants. I'm still in the back of the movie theater, uh, eating. <laughs> yeah, jacking it, whacking it. Oh, it's that guy. He's yeah, in a, yeah. He was in one of the Fast and Furious movies. Was he? Was he Black Superman? Was he in Sean mm-hmm. Hobbs? Oh, he was they the villain in Sean and Hobbs. He was, he was in Tom Hobbs and Shaw when they were against him. Yeah, they called him yeah. Black Superman. Really? Yeah. Oh. That's I not see. just like. Oh, he's it. also fucking Heimdall. Wait, he's Heimdall? He's Heimdall. Yeah. Wait, what? Uh, from Thor? Yeah. yeah. How the fuck did I not know that? He's awesome. Over my fucking Heimdall. head. What the fuck? I can see why he would say, I'll try to make him not sexy, because this guy's got a sexy... Yeah, Heim, him and Heimdall was everything. fucking awesome. Him and Suicide Squad was... Really? I thought he was cool, at least, in Suicide Squad. Like, I didn't think he was lame-lame, but, like, at the same time, John Cena just made that movie downhill. What? Colin yeah. told me that... Um... That John Cena was really good in that movie, and now he's getting his own. Um, he's getting his own show for the role. He is. He's, yeah. He's what? On HBO, he's getting his own uh, spinoff show. Yeah. For Peacekeeper. Yeah, piss kicker. You say piss kicker? <laughs> That's what they call him. They call him a piss taker. Piss taker. <laughs> Alright. Dude. Yeah, I guess but he's there's getting like, his own show. Colin said he was a really good He's role. getting his own show because he has money. He's not getting his own show for his acting ability. There's no shot. He's getting his own show because he's familiar and he's available. Yeah, if, if I can get a blood sport show, I'd probably pre- definitely prefer that. Like besides Suicide Squad, where have you else have you seen Peacekeeper? Well, this new yeah. Suicide Squad was actually all about like villains that you've never even heard of, but I mean they killed off everyone in like the first five minutes. So yeah, but you've seen like Polka Dot Man somewhere, you know? You've probably heard of Ratcatcher. Yeah, Polka Dot Man was like a he was in the old. Uh, uh, there was like he was the in the Batman, comics. Uh, oh my gosh, what was it? it was like. Batman and Brave and the Bold. There you go. Jesus. Yeah, he was in that. Oh, yeah, I remember that one. That one's really yeah. good. Yeah. Brave and the Bold was cool. I think that's so, like, yeah. had like a Scooby-Doo collaboration, too. Back back at the topic of hand of the Game Awards, yeah. there's one thing I'd love to talk about, and that is the... Uh, I can't even say it. <laughs> I had a brain fart. <laughs> Um, it's the Matrix Unreal Engine 5, uh, ga- engine fucking demo, whatever you call it. It looks so fucking cool. Have you guys seen it? I have not. Mm-hmm. Should I look it up right now? Uh, look it up, look it up. Uh, yes. Look it up, look it up, look it up. It's like Keanu Reeves and Carrie Ann Moss. They're both surprised it, in their role. Is it a game? They look young as shit. It's just uh, it's just showing off the engine's capabilities. Oh, that's so, all in game. Uh, Matrix Awakens gameplay demo. Is that what should I? Yes. I should yes. Mm-hmm. Let's see if I can right. play this for the. I don't know if I should actually play this. I don't think I will play this for the podcast. Actually, I'm just gonna like play it. Are you able like, to? It's just sound. Like it's more of a demonstration of sight. Yeah. Yo, what's going well, you on, can guys? Put the footage over it, and today, so. I want to give you a chance to take a look at Matrix Awakens. Yeah. Again, another thing that was announced during the oh, this Game Awards. Is this not, is basically the, the an interactive Game experience. Awards. Yeah. Or, wait, there's like, you have to go in a little bit further to kind of like see the good shit because they're like well, in a car one, fight. This one's posted by Unreal Engine themselves. Yeah. So I'm thinking yeah. that this is. 
in 4k <laughs> you want to watch it in 4k it's fucking worth I, I, it i don't even know if i can i don't know if my pc actually has that capability <laughs> it's like 10 minutes long you might just want to like see glimpses yeah, of it i'm kind of just like skimming here i'll try uh i'll show you where to go I'm Thomas Anderson. Okay, wait. Like many of you, I work with computers. I Go to outside the limitations. Of uh, three nineteen. But computers are also mirrors. Yep. Reflecting back who and what. Oh the yeah, that we make. Yeah. Welcome to the matrix. <laughs> That's fucking sick. He's gonna bring her the truck. You still got it. I think I might Why is everyone so soft spoken? <laughs> Cuz they're like 50 years old. What the hell are you doing back there? Sorry. I was told this is a sim preparing me to fight the system. Right on. You know what? <laughs> yeah. It's all supposed to be a little unreal. <laughs> Okay, that's just a wink wink. Alright. But whatever you do, stay the hell away from marketing. That does look really good though. Right? And it all looks like for the movie too. Yeah. So is this a game? Holy or? shit, is that like no. an actual representation of how the map is? It is? This isn't a game, this is like just a representation of what the engine can do. Say no more. But if it gets popular enough, it might be a game. That's my theory. I'll fucking play the shit out of it. Keep them off us. So this is just a demonstration of what Yes. They put a lot into this demonstration. It Maybe shows off a little bit. Just I feel like this is gonna be one of those things that's gonna like cyberpunk though. Like it looks super fucking good. And then like we're gonna practice it early, but it's gonna come out. You can play this now on the PS5. Wait, seriously? Yeah, it's a demo. Yeah. If you have a PS5 or a next-gen console, you can totally play this. Yeah, PS5 in the bottom corner. That's pretty sick. I like it. Do you stop playing it? Yeah, I just yeah. did. Okay, cool. It's pretty cool. But yeah, that's the that's the biggest thing I'm excited for. Uh I, there's probably no future to it, but it looks super cool, and I'm glad they got more Matrix shit. You know, I really do hope there's a future to it because I've been told that Matrix games were awesome. I've never played them myself, but I've always been told they're awesome. Uh, I played it once when I was little. I wasn't really a big fan. You might have played oh. the one that everyone hates, <laughs> where there was like, I think there was like two characters that were like solely for the game. Or uh, there's. Like well, it's like just like a. Faces. It, no, there was like a part to it to where um, it sh told off like the last parts of the movie, like it just told the story. But these characters that were in the movie, and it was all supposed to be like canonical into it. Yeah, yeah. See, that's the one everyone hates. <laughs> yeah. Oh, with the Jada Pickett Smith. Yeah, yeah. I've never even seen the movies. I, Watch the first one. I've never actually like really watched Matrix. I've only seen like bits and pieces. All I know is a whoosh, whoosh, like the whoosh, bullets. Whoosh, yeah. Um, the first one's definitely a good Red watch. Bill. Yeah, Red Bill, Blue yes. Bill. <laughs> Mobius is some random drug dealer in the system. Pretty much. And hacking and hacking. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's talk about what you're pissed about, Kelly. What you just loved oh, so much. Why would they take that away from you? <sighs> All right, guys. Let's see. Um, Jeremy, when I was at work, uh, he sent me a post that Cow Bebop, the Netflix series, got canceled after its first season. Mm -hmm. I was like, 
oops sorry better luck next time and i was like doing a bunch of laughing emojis like you're such a fucking hater i'm like good this show reeks and i hate it <laughs> reeks he says reeks okay mm-hmm. I-, I was ho- i was hoping so, that you were like collapsing in tears couldn't even work uh, yeah, i was wondering home, why like... you said what he's pissed about but yeah, she was being said the last thing i know okay. kelly's ecstatic about oh. this <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah holy shit um, were they supposed were to get another season afterwards? Because Cowboy Bebop, yeah. the original anime, is only one season, right? Right, but the first season they, of the Netflix show only covered about like five episodes, and they had more plans to fill it out into another season, oh. like how they did with the first. Was everything like recorded throughout the season, or were they just dropping a new episode every week that was pre-recorded? All of it was recorded. All of it was, <laughs> all of it was filmed. All the all the entire season was filmed, and they're just never gonna release it now. Oh well, Didn't they no. Drop I mean, all the episodes at once. Yeah, they do. That's Nef- it's Netflix. So oh, yeah. okay, it's Netflix. Okay. Um, damn. So I was kind of like reveling in their like, like dis- their uh, you know. I was kind of reveling in their like feet. <laughs> their their feet. Yeah, I was like, you fuckers <laughs> had it this time, you bitch. Idiots. But then I saw a video of the girl playing as Ed and it's like a featurette of her actor being in the show. And she's saying like, I'm so excited. I can't wait. I I can't believe I landed this role. And I was so prepared. I watched all the episodes. I was like, Oh oh no. That's actually actually really sad. That's actually really sad. I was like, I know I shit on you before. I just feel so bad. It's not yeah, their man, fault that it's shitty, career, baby girl. It's it's not their fault. It's shitty. I don't think. I th- I think like I don't know if Spike's actor went in like hard or anything like that. He's a good actor. I've seen. I him I good. think uh, uh I think it was really Jet's the actor other guy that like killed it right. Jet. Yeah, Jet Jet's, Jet's actor a- is the one that killed perfect. it. Perfect, perfect. He's a perfect Jet. Oh wow! Well, then mm, what the fuck is wrong with it? <laughs> um, Faye, the writing. They made one character into a villain and completely killed off the main villain. And it's yeah, just they right. t- cut backstory and they didn't even mention it because it might get political. So they were like, no, we're just not even going to touch that. And okay. that's, it's just shit. That just sounds like the shit that they do. Uh, and what, what was the thing that I was going to... There's like a an actual Netflix show that like even like does the same shit with uh, what you're talking about. It was uh, He-Man. They killed off He-Man. Yeah, and, like, and they made it like to the him. very beginning, and like then they and then now mm-hmm. it's just about everyone surrounding He-Man, and like the writers like it's genius. N- no one was even here for He-Man. These characters are way more interesting. Like what? Who's <laughs> He-Man? You're. Well, it wasn't even oh, called He Man. It's called Masters of the Universe for that Masters same of the fucking universe, reason. Yeah. Uh, but He Man's the main fucking character. Right. I don't want to see Tila kiss her beloved girlfriend. I don't fucking care. Yeah, and then it's just like that progressive shit. Like, I don't even know if Tila had a girlfriend at any point in time for like the actual He Man. If that bothers you, look at Faye Valentine in the Netflix show. She is completely homosexual. Really? Like, she is. Uh her backstory with her debt is completely out. Uh what the Whitney fuck? Haggis, what's his name, is replaced by a woman pretending to be her mom. And that was its whole deal. Um it was, it was I, shit. Yeah, no, that's you change the story, you just ruin it. Like what I'm hoping for with the uh One Piece live action, since Oda it's is apparently like, no I faith in it. anything with that shit. I mean yeah. Oda's, Oda's looking over it. You and need to have your your bar set below the floor. My bar is set pretty low. I don't see them doing any justice mm-hmm. to uh well Frankie's not in it. I'm stupid. Uh I don't see them doing really any justice to like hockey or uh the Zoros. whole show three sword style i mean it's just it's a hard thing that one piece is ridiculously hard to get live action that's probably one of the hardest animes it's gonna be cgi to fucking the moon but it's still not gonna look like uh you don't want the entire they couldn't really afford cabo bebop yeah 
it's low budget to hell. So is One Piece supposed to be done by Netflix? Yeah. It's not being done directly by Netflix, but Netflix it is going everything on up, Netflix. Netflix. Let's make a bingo stuff. chart of all the shit that can go wrong with this One Piece adaptation. <laughs> yeah. One character is going to be gay. One character is going to be like non-binary oh, or something. Fucking god! One character is going to be like lesbian. Holy shit! <laughs> I'd be pi- like, I would be pissed. But it's supposed to be a live action of like the first. 50 episodes or some shit like that for this at least for the first season and i'm hoping like they just take the going mary and they just follow the same course but they like do it at a little bit faster pace obviously because you can't just have a live action with the same amount of episodes as the actual anime they'll cut the filler so it's going to be about 10 minutes of content it's funny though too because like the actor's The actors I was, like, really skeptical about, but, like, it does make sense, because, like, all the characters, uh, all the actors are, like, the actual ethnicity of the actual characters from One Piece. Like, uh, I think Usopp was, like, South African or something like that. Yeah, they do. It's it's Mm -hmm. literally super close to being together. And, uh... Uh, Usopp, South African, really cool. Sanji's actor actually cooks for the cast. He's just getting into character. Which is really cool, and he actually cooks some like really good looking stuff. Uh, Luffy's character is always like super like hyper, and like he's just like really excited to be Luffy, and I think that's pretty cool. And he's like Brazilian, which apparently that's what Luffy is. Really? Yeah, which makes sense. Like, I mean, the hair. I don't know. Makes sense to me at least. Um, okay. Oh my goodness. Zoro's character, I'm a little bit skeptical about. I mean, he's kind of funny because, like, while the cast is, like, all hanging out and stuff, Zoro's in, like, France because he's lost. Which is, like, because, <laughs> like, Zoro gets lost all the time in the anime. So, like, I think, like, I feel like. I feel like it's not the worst people you could have casted. It's not a lot of people. I don't think a lot of people have heard of these actors, but, mm-hmm. like,. One Piece is one of those underdog animes anyway. Like, not a lot of people watch One Piece, or not a lot of people, I should say, rather, look at One Piece and are like, oh, this anime probably fucks. Like, I don't know. I, I'm I'm optimistic. I'm just hoping they don't do that forced progressive shit like you're you saying. You be optimistic? Um, don't have who's any the big I do not have yeah. high expectations. It's not going to compare to the anime whatsoever. But I just wanted to like, I just want them to do justice. Like, even if they ended after the first season, I don't want them to say canceled. I just want them to be like, oh, we did a season of live action One Piece that so you can watch at any time. Like, that's pretty cool. I'm just trying it out. Uh, yeah, like it crash. a live action movie probably would have been a lot better. Just like in its own but, story, I think it'd be kind of cool. Right. I well, I mean, it's own like you'd have to like introduce every single character, and like somewhat of how they are before you do anything. And like that's another thing too. Usopp is like always scared and a liar, so I really want to know how the fuck uh, the actor is really gonna like portray that. Pisses himself. <laughs> <laughs> It's a very good <laughs> just zoom in on his fucking legs. <laughs> they also well, already built the uh, Going Mary, which I think looks really cool. I'll show that to Hector really quick. Really? I kind of want to see that. replica the prize and everything. Yeah. What's this called? What is it called? Um, going. Live action Going Mary. Is it like Holy. just like on a set or is it actually functioning in water? Oh. I guess I'll just like show you that. That's kind of creepy like that, honestly, but I mean that's the uh that's the going Mary. I feel like they should CGI the front masthead. No, the mast actually looks really good. The that's entire the ship head. looks fucking awesome. The mast is the same. Front? What do you mean like CGI? Like, like at home. So I saw one thing, so that looks fucking weirdish. I mean, that's the but, going Mary though. But what was it? This, this looks better. I guess that's that's 
CGI'd or animated. Right, right. but you can't have a CGI the, ship the entire time. They definitely could have done a better job. I think as a live... Wait, is that the... Oh, no, that's yeah, the... that looks better. That looks a No, lot that's, that's like a party ship, and it, it's like so but flat. Still, just the front part there, they could have done that instead of whatever the fuck you just showed me. I feel as though the front is definitely good. I don't think that's bad at all, and especially it like doesn't look finished, proportionate to... Well, yeah, no, I think it just has like covers over it. Either that, or by the time this picture was taken, they just haven't painted it yet. Uh, but the actual proportions of the yeah, ship it looks, look it looks good. perfect. It looks pretty big. I thought the ship was small. Yeah. They're making a whole boat. Well, no, the going boat. that is how big the Going Mary is. That's tiny compared to the Thousand Sunny. That shit's tiny, and compared to literally anything else. Yeah, I don't even know what the Thousand Sunny looks like. I think I saw it on the Google. I'm googling that's, it right now. That's bigger. That's huge. Yeah, the Going Mary is about like. From here to here. The, the thousands. Jeez. Yeah, it's, it's literally it's like triple Mary the size of the Going Mary. Small. Yeah, you could, so like this little thing right here, which this is awesome for the podcast, by the way, because no one can fucking see this. But uh, basically what I'm saying is like the little docking system for every other... Uh, uh, every other of the little things that fits in the Thousand Sunny, you could probably fit the Going Mary, honestly. In my opinion, I don't know. I could be wrong about those dimensions, but I'm pretty sure it's pretty sure that's right. So, well, that kind of went away from Cowboy Bebop for a bit. Well, we were talking about live action anime, yeah. which we have talked about before. Yeah. I wonder. I wonder if they plan on making any other things live action. Then you know what? Mm. What in your guys' opinion? What would be? Like, I feel like the ideal Neon anime? Genesis would be. That would be uh, pretty fucking uh, sick. Yeah. I don't know how they could possibly do an Ava, but I feel like that's kind of the direction they're going. If they're doing an OG like Cowboy and then One Piece. They might try to build... Evangelion could I was be actually thinking about good. that. Yeah, it's, Evangelion has um, potential to be super good. Like, if if they had, like, Marvel-level cool. budget when it comes to the movies, Fe yeah, yeah, I yeah, think like they were. What was that one movie? But they're not going to. There was this movie, or a couple movies, where people would be, like, piloting giant fucking robots like Ava. Pacific Rim? Pacific yeah. Rim, yeah. They could totally make... Like if, if it they made that Pacific kind of budget, they could totally do, they it. Could do yeah. it. Yeah, they could absolutely. Pacific Rim was one of my favorite movies too. I even never saw it. I never thought like, Pacific Rim. Well, oh. If Shinji was shown off to today's people, he would get canceled in a fucking heartbeat. Masato would be canceled in a fucking heartbeat. Do you really want to bring these characters to light? Hospital scene where he hospital scene. Yeah. Uh, was he jerking it or something? Yeah, <laughs> like um, yeah. What was it Mikasa? She was like, was it Mikasa? Not Mikasa. What? As As Asuka. Asuska. Asuska. Fuck what you say, Mikasa. <laughs> Asuka. Asuka. Yes, she yeah. was um, like passed she... out in the hospital, and he was just watching her. Was something like kind of revealed on her, like her tits or something? So she was in a coma. Yeah, and she Shinji was like, wake up, bitch. You better fucking wake up. He pulled her. Her tit fucking fell out. And he was like, I'm going to lock this hospital room and jerk off to it. And he's like, he literally I'm a fucking jerked monster. Jerked. He jerked up. And wait, wait, wait. You could see, like, like, they showed, like, just, like, a screen grab of, like, his nut or something. And yeah. Just next frame is just oh, him oh. standing there. And he's like, I hate myself. <laughs> wait. He yeah. jerked off over a comatose person. No, he co he jerked off to the tit of a comatose person. <laughs> that man, yeah, that yeah. man is thirsty. <laughs> it's Japan, bro. Do they do yeah, they like, like know? 13. Wait, so you've like seen? So like, did they actually show the tit, or did they just like show the action of the tit falling out? I think they just show all like, of it. They show all the tit, and they show all of the cum on his fingers. 
I gotta watch Evangelion. They showed the tit? <laughs> they showed the whole tit in the end of Evangelion. It's on Netflix. I feel like I don't remember them showing it. It's on Netflix, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's the show, not the movie, right? Uh, it is the movie. It's the end of Evangelion. Okay. I, I feel guess like they, it would have they to must have shown video. more in the movie. So I don't think they showed video. the actual tit in the show. Um, Actually, like it's the very last make. thing they said... Huh? Mm-hmm. Sorry. Sorry, the very last thing that they said in the movie was where I was like, that's like, uh, Asuka was like, looks down on Shinji, he's like, disgusting, because she knew what he fucking did to her. Damn. Because he was I like, choking. Yeah. I think what I was, was going to say, um, it's easier to take like a, I don't know what rating Evangelion was at, like PG-13, whatever the fuck. Uh, R. It's easier to make, the, sh- the show was rated R? Out, yo, it has rated R content in it, yeah. It the like show a, does? I, uh, well, I mean, dude just jacked off to fucking... Well, that was in the movie, movie is what he was saying. I was I was gonna well, say, no, like... Part of that was in the show, but they just did a little more in the movie. The show... movie is like um a bunch of the show, like kind of like a recap, but with a little few extra things, right? right uh, the so... first movie, at least. So the Netflix show had a low budget, and then they just cut them off. So it's like, hey, we need to end this somehow. And then they got budget again, so they end up making an entire movie to properly end it. And it just perfectly like completes the story of these characters, of how, you know, it doesn't really resolve everything, but it just okay. kind of completes it. Wait, but wasn't, wasn't the show made, like, way before Netflix was a thing? Oh yeah, it's uh, 1995, I think. Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, long story short, I'm gonna just say I'm gonna watch Evangelion now. You better <laughs> watch Evangelion. I it's a good I watch, show. I watch Darling and the Franks, and I, I think that's it for me on Gundam. They're different. They're definitely different as far as Gundam goes. No. Um, this is the original Gundam. Yeah, you can never have too much. Gundam. Is it the original Gundam? It's the OG. It's the OG anime. Yeah. Oh. It's it's very depressing. And when I first watched all of it, I was like, "This is a bit much." Yeah. But I'm glad yeah. I finished it. I, yeah. If they were to make it into a live action, if they had the right budget, it could be very fucking awesome. As far as like gore and shit goes, I literally had to like watch other animes to like just start getting comfortable with gore, like. I had to work my way up for Attack on Titan for sure. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. Like I couldn't just stomach Attack on Titan like some psychopaths. Um I went from God, what was like the worst of the worst? Uh, I mean I went from my my anime watching career really started with Fairy Tale, I wanna say. Uh we moved over to uh, Seven Deadly Sins, which got a little bit more gory, because Vaughn just doesn't fucking die. Um, what's it called? Uh, so that made me want to move into Demon Slayer, which got way more gory. Yeah. And from Demon Slayer, I think, I think I was just chill with fucking anything after that. Honestly, just like demons eating shit, like it was, it was pretty good after that. I'm pretty sure. I think I think I was Attack on Titan ready after Demon Slayer, mm-hmm. but then there was also uh, my hero has not a lot of gore, but like a little bit. No, has a little bit. That's yeah. a no. Uh uh-uh. uh That's a little bit. It like has punches and then like oh, little nosebleed. There was one guy literally just cut in fucking half. And like spraying out the bottom of his body. Yeah. Yes. Well, still, like, it's. My hero as a whole is really not that gory. I mean, even in this last season, which I can't even, like, really talk about, but you get to see. Uh, well, I'll just tell you. Like, it's not a spoiler. You just get to see uh, the main villain's uh, backstory. Okay. And that's gory. Okay. So. Right. I'd say, like, just a lot of things warmed me up for, like, Attack on Titan and, like, gore in general. I was just like, goddamn. Well, Evangelion isn't that gory. 
Evangelion's um, not that gory. Probably the end of Evangelion is towards the end of the show and the end of the movie is gory. The, I think the entire show movie is gory. The eyeball thing is what kills me. <laughs> eyeball? Yeah, I've seen like clips where like the the Gundam is like popping out of the fucking eyeball or some shit like that. And then there's like oh. that one chick whose like neck is like snapped and open, like I was like, God damn. What? Whose character is that? From a movie I haven't seen. It's probably a well, movie then. Asuka gets well, Asuka gets shit on in the movie. Like she gets dunked on. She gets the most abuse. Mm-hmm. Did she? Um, Why well, I, I shouldn't fucking ask that. I'm stupid. <laughs> so I was gonna ask it. Don't answer this, but I was gonna ask if she dies. I was like, I, I she got jerked off on. <laughs> It'd be pretty fucking sad. If she and died. they put like her comatose body inside the Ava, thinking it would work, and it, like they good put thing a it did. corpse in the fucking Gundam. Well, they were, like, running out of ideas. Shinji's being a bitch, and it's like, we got this bitch on Komatos. We gotta put her in the suit right now and put her in the Ava to fucking do something. They just put her in the bottom of a river. Bottom of the bottom of a lake. So the Ava, the Ava is, like... So Ava's part of the fucking name, obviously. It's like Darling and the Franks. Because Franks is what they... The Franks Franks is are what they do. I think that's pretty cool. I wonder if, like, that's it it is for most Gundam animes. Like, they just actually have the name of them. The Avas are actual living things. They're like angels. There was like armor put on them. So the angels are giant, like organic fucking beasts, monsters, whatever. And then so humankind, what they like somehow captured one or like they got an egg of one and then they turned it into their own thing. Basically put a fucking Iron Man suit on it and then found a way to pilot them using children. Using children. What a well, fucking story. It's, Holy I don't shit. want to spoil much into it, but... Yeah, you know, I, I, you, might have, you guys might have just sold me on Yvonne. I might, I might have to check it out. Please watch it. It's so fucking good. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you want to run it up with uh, the Wrath of Retail Christmas songs, as as you put uh, on the topics list. Anime now. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is... My every day till <laughs> Christmas is fucking day. over. It started <laughs> on my birthday and it's gonna end after Christmas. Yeah, it's it's pretty um, bad. We just at like fun fact, literally right before this podcast, yeah, stopped inside of like a little convenient mart uh, at a gas station. First mm-hmm. song playing was Alvin and the Chipmunks doing the the Twelve Days of Christmas. <laughs> it was oh, literal oh my god! I would have my been god. screaming with a shotgun in my mouth. I'd I would hate to be working in that. Dude, it was like an yeah. Older imagine guy the guy too. working there. Do, the guy. It was like an older guy. He had to be like banging his fucking head. Like, like I can't. I can't do this. I can't fucking do this. Yeah. You gotta. You gotta lose your sanity at some point. Yeah, there's no problem. I'm losing mine. <laughs> Does that like play so, on a loop or is you're it at like a Home random? Depot, right? So at Home Depot, the entire track is about an hour long. And they're not all different songs. They're like the f- same fucking five songs in a loop sung by different assholes. Yep. And it's like this. Oh! Kelly, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? When did you start working at Home Depot? I sent a snap about? when I was like, I got the fucking job, bitches. And then you guys this are like, was oh, nice. months ago. He works yeah. I literally months don't I remember this. I did not remember this yeah, at all. Holy shit. I started in September. It. I did in September. Forever ago. Kelly. Where, did, I told you guys. where did you think he worked? I, I don't. Well, I know here. Here you worked at uh, Big, Big, Big Lots, Lots, right? Yeah. And so, Fair for mo. some reason, in my head, I was like, maybe he just transferred like big lots. I remember like, like asking you about it or like clarifying in the group chat, and you were a part of the conversation. I never remember that. That's not okay. That's not even the conversation. I'm sorry, Kelly. I, I totally fucking <laughs> okay. forgot. But like, it's fine. I, I understand exactly how you feel. Um, it fucking sucks at Chipotle because all we what the fuck. Come just fucking fell asleep. Yeah, screwed. I mean, it didn't do anything. Yeah, 
Anyway, um, at Chipotle, it's not Christmas music yet. I don't think. But no. Oh fuck. But um, I'm gonna be playing Christmas music in the back though. Mariah Carey is that what is that his name? No. No. Um, no. But <laughs> Kelly, do you not like Christmas? I. I don't want to say yes, but yes. I hate the commercialism of Christmas. You it's stressful as shit. I'm a fucking Scrooge, but I like the togetherness. That's what I really like about Christmas. Yeah. I don't like yeah. presents. I don't like holiday cheer and spread the carols. I'm like, kill yourself. I don't want to fucking hear it anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm fuming. I, no, no. I, 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 I totally fucking understand. Pop off, yeah, honestly. That's, that's how you good. really feel. Yeah. And that old Saint Nick, Jeez. old Saint bitch. So I <laughs> I've heard oh jingle. I heard carol. I've heard bells. I've heard these Rudolph. like fucking cr- Rudolph the Red No Reindeer. And it's like this bitch is like jingle, 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 jingle bells, jingle, jingle. I'm like, you bitch. I want to cave her head into a fucking wall. Holy I'm sorry, that's violent. I shouldn't. <laughs> oh no, go for it. No, no, this is fucking quality shit for the podcast. <laughs> Here, pops, knock at your door. <laughs> oh, jeez, like I want to like I want to fall to the floor and like cover my ears when I'm at work. Like this is too <laughs> fucking sounds much. Sounds like you want to have a panic. I'm sure you could, like I'm gonna have a breakdown. Or, like, turn it down or like. Do no, something. that's the yeah. entire store, Home and these Depot people are fucking ginormous. There's no shot the manager's gonna be like, yeah. "Well, no one's gonna hear it." Like the managers probably don't have any control over it either. Yeah. You know, yeah, they fucking do. It's all in their office. There's a stereo. Not for the thing. That's for Chipotle. Yeah, yeah. but like corporate needs to have the this. songs because I know I'm, that we can, I know that we can fix it if it's fucking up. Like a lot of times, like it's like skipping beats and shit like that at Chipotle. And I know, like, the manager can sign Mine up. Mine's, like, so. a little volume dial at takeout. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I didn't know that that would... Shit. What a weird fucking spot for that. Yeah, but okay. Christmas songs need to put people in the mood to fucking buy. I know why that's there. But yeah, we that's are... Like, I really... I, I love like, Christmas. I, re- like, I no. love everything about Christmas, but I love... I like Christmas. See, I agree with him, though. I fucking hate the... The fucking bullshit nice. corporate, yeah. Like, oh, you're not in the Christmas spirit if you didn't buy your kid a fucking switch. Like, oh my yeah. god. And like, family's over. Like, you're like stressed the fuck out. I like the aesthetics of it all. Yeah, I like some of the music. Yeah, some of the I Christmas hear. musics are bangers. But I mean, if you have to listen to it all day, you'd probably want to. Yeah, play that's fucking out. torture. And fucking Alvin and the Chip. Oh my twelve days. Oh, Thank God we don't got Alvin. Yeah. Thank you God, blow your brains out at that point. Yeah, I'll get a power like a drill and drill my eye out. There you go. <laughs> Why your eye? Do your eardrums, bro. <laughs> yeah, make it easy. Yeah, so I, I should, yeah. While, I'm, while I'm out there, I should do that. <laughs> <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> make sure you use a 1 16th spit, not a 1 uh, Yeah, 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter. <laughs> so, okay, yeah. how does that work right now? <laughs> Um, um, I think uh, with like all this death talk, I should really share this uh, story about our like literal yesterday recent concert experience. Did someone get stamped um, on? Did someone get no. trampled? So we were in oh. line, and uh, so we were in line, and I was like joking around with Hector, and I was like, "Yeah, what if like we get to the front and it's like we're at capacity?" Hector literally said oh. in public. <laughs> Loud as shit is like I'd kill every single person here. <laughs> I'd be in the mood for that. <laughs> I was like, uh, oh, I'm good kidding. money for that concert, uh, bro. I was like, <laughs> like, if we get to the wanna... front, they're like, no one else. Someone's dying. Everyone's dying. <laughs> I was like, uh, they would give your like, money back. <laughs> I was like, honk, you might want to. But I'd be upset because fucking, I've been looking forward to this concert. Ever. It's Joji, the one fucking artist I love more than anything, and 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 murder, it, just murder. We everyone. were not only surrounded by everyone. I'd hold him at gunpoint and be like, perform, 
do the set as put. <laughs> <laughs> So do it normally. Was, You're sitting so right I there was freaking the fuck out because we were in public, not only in line, but everyone around us because it's fucking LA. Busy as shit. Yeah. And there's this little terrorist in line right next to me. He's like, what? You he's don't like, want me to talk about the gun like, I have? He's like, he's trying to calm me down. He's like, what? And I'm like, what? Like, I can't see that I'm going to murder people, especially the people in our instant vicinity. With what, the gun they, I have? In the gun? Like, they don't know that I own a gun and that I have a gun. <laughs> on me they right brought the right gun. <laughs> plan to use the gun. I was like, oh, bro, I did not associate plus one hollow points. <laughs> like, <laughs> they don't know that. <laughs> so needless to say, I was freaking the fuck out. Because he was nonstop. I was like, I need to change the subject right fucking now. He was like trying to bot me like a. I was like, like, a, like, a, like, a, like I, I was like, like fanning him with both my arms, like calm down. Stop! 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 stop. <laughs> oh shit! Um, other than that, the concert was. Other than that, they awesome. did let us in. Yeah, the concert was really fucking. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Uh, the openers were, the first guy was, what was it, Savage Realm? Savage Realm, I mean, I, that sounds right. I think that's what it was. Yeah, Savage Realm, but, and he was really cool. He sang was, Gary Come Home Gary for some reason, home. and it was hilarious. And oh, really? Was, yeah, it was really funny. Uh, the next guy was Lil Toe, which apparently is a very well-known guy that we've never heard of. Yeah. Um, Lil Toe. The third guy was Austin Mills, and disgustingly uh annoying dj he had good sounds but god he played you too remember long. his name how could i not he plugged it like four times Did, uh, I kind of he plugged it, it like four I fucking times i was just sitting there bobbing my head my neck was getting fucking sore because it wasn't joji <laughs> God. Some of his sounds were good, but it was just like, it was way too long. Like, like he kept on saying, "Like one more time, guys, let's get one it. One more time, just one more. Oh, let's keep it going, just one more time. You guys are doing great. I can tell you want another." Like, the crowd was <laughs> dead, just dying. <laughs> oh <its> no! <laughs> no, no, no! Like, like they weren't the like dead in the sense. The, the oh, crowd wasn't but... dead in the sense of like, like ninja on New Year's Eve. Like it wasn't. Okay. Like, okay can we- it was like, just, yeah, you're cool, but can we get to what we yeah, paid to be here for? Like, there's some random uh, girl next to us that was like, "You're not fucking Joji." <laughs> what did she say? That? <laughs> she was she was pissed. She was like, she was just like, "Where's Joji? I came here for Joji." And like the I other guy, how I put it. Like, the other guy it took was him like thirty fucking minutes. I swear. Yeah, the more other than more than thirty minutes. It was like yeah, 40, it was it was forty to forty five. Yeah, it was a really long set. It was just really fucking tedious. Oh, just like guy, we thought it was going to be two openers. It was it was just I don't know. It, it was just like a lot by then because I was already done by like little toe. I was like, all right, give me Joji. Like yeah. Come. Yeah, more Joji. But as soon as Joji did come on, my God, it was. Magic. It was actual magic. Uh, everyone. <laughs> everything. 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 The quintessence of life. Literally the meaning say. of life. Like, it was to go to that concert. So if you missed it, just kill yourself. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, kill yourself. You weren't there. Jared, get the knife. <laughs> Jared, get the knife. Oh, God. <laughs> But yeah, it was it was awesome. Top artist that fucking both of us love. Everyone there, vibes were immaculate. Gosh, the just, vibes were so just like, the fact that we went to a concert and we knew all the words to all the songs. And everyone else around us did too. It exactly. was harmonious. Visuals it was amazing. great. Joji, such a cool seeming guy. He was so nice and fucking he was, yeah, he seemed like a really nice he guy. He was wearing a Mickey Mouse Santa hat yeah. the whole time. Damn. I mean, I've seen at other concerts, he's been shirtless, but he wasn't at this one, so that's kind at of a At this one, he, like, dry-humped the air at some point, yeah. 
And what, like, was it um during the piano or the guitar solo? I think it was a guitar solo for Run. I can't remember. It was it was really fucking. No, it weird. wasn't for Run. It was when he was like introducing each person. <laughs> no, it was it was like between two songs. Like the pianist was like just randomly going hard. He's like, oh. No, it wasn't. Oh. Really, he was like, all right, guys, <laughs> give it up for uh, the guitars here, blah, blah, blah. And then he did a little solo. Uh, and then he introduced the guitarist. I swear to God, it was the, the pianist. And yeah, it was between songs. He's like, songs. I didn't even know you could do that. For when he yeah, introduced it was between it. songs, and he was introducing each, each uh, instrument player. Right. And then I think it was the piano one. He was like, Whoa, He's like I didn't even know you could do that. that. <laughs> and then he starts fucking having an orgasm, humping the Yeah, air, I, was, I literally. Down. I, everyone was screaming. Hector's over here like, I'll have your fucking babies. Yeah. And some guy behind him taps on his shoulder like, you're not the only one, brother. <laughs> so the yeah. girl, the women to my right were like screaming, I'll suck your dick. I want to ruin your life. You should have uh, thrown a virgin onto his onto the stage and let him fuck her raw right there. Oof. I would have I would have paid double to see that. <laughs> What the fuck? Throwing yourself on it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just throw a virgin on the stage and who hears a virgin? Of age. Of an age virgin. Still? Of what? age. It's just a sacrifice. Imagine your Sacrifice a virgin. How is that a Joji? sacrifice? Your first dick is Joji. You're sacrificing your hymen. Oh, that hymen's gotta go, buddy. It's, it's a stack for yeah, the exactly No, religious. it's like Joji's it's an God, offering. It's a fucking a offering. Virgin. Yeah. It's an offering. That's the stack for virgin Joji. Oh, rice. Right, right, right. The virgin Joji. Jojus. God damn it. He can take my bussy flower. Oh my, oh my God. God. Yes. <laughs> he can take it at any point. He can, Hector oh, was he asking me this. legitimately. He was saying, like, if. Joji actually offered to fuck you. Would you take it? And I said absolutely. absolutely. Like I didn't even think. I don't have to think about it. I, if I if he asks, not, I'm gay. I'm not like, gay, but I'm gay. This guy. <laughs> if he asks, I'm fucking yeah. gay. I'm not gonna. Why would I pass that up? Like it might be dirty down there, but I will clean it up fast. I will wax <laughs> it for him. He was filthy Frank at a fucking point. Like, why is he so hot all of a sudden? That's what we're saying. Like, he went from being that, which is still hilarious to this day, to Joji, the angelic-voiced god. Super fucking good. It's time to stop. That was fucking him. <laughs> yeah, ravioli, ravioli, what's in the pocket only? <laughs> Learn your fucking place trash welcome to the rice field motherfucker shut the fuck up yeah no like it's literally oh my it's, God. it's it's him like the ramen song jerking off to ramen like it's so <laughs> fucking good so dan schneider bring all my bitches back <laughs> <laughs> i like uh, that one. i just i just can't believe i was that close to him physically i literally like, felt like within my... like 20 25 feet he was he was there not only was i erect but my spirit was erect and it was just pointing straight at him like my okay. spirit erection was like a curve to wherever he was walking just all around the stage it's just following <laughs> fucking snake dick dude it was so good i like I, I, he took off his sunglasses and i was like i feel attraction to you why <laughs> well yeah oh. <laughs> like if he had taken that shirt off but kept the hat on i might have walked out of there just a changed man i would have i had to dump i had to dump janelle i had to find myself i, I was <laughs> but no one could ever compare you never find. Anything. I would never find a Joji. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I I I can't be gay or even bi for that matter because like, there's no Joji. Yeah, you have to be asexual at that. Point. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> nothing <laughs> could ever satisfy. I just I just have to give off. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. 
Okay. So I that's think, how the concert went. I'd say, okay, so here's a segue. Um, so do you think Joji is circumcised? Holy shit, is Joji circumcised? Holy. Was he born in America? He was born, he was born, in, born Japan. in Japan. Japan? I think he's not circumcised. I don't think he's circumcised either. I feel as though Joji has a throbbing cock, like a huge throbbing cock. And when he was circumcised, it was like a katana. Like, instead of like the traditional... So you think he was circumcised? Yes. Oh, wait, you think he's not I don't think he is. Oh, wow. I think, as as you were saying, throbbing cock, yeah, but not circumcised. He's got that hood, and I think his is kind of on the darker side. Like the I feel tone. darker. I feel darker. Yeah, I think he's I on darker. the like skin tone, darker side. Do you think he keeps it like well shaven? Because I feel like he's the kind of guy that puts like a I triangle. Think, I think he keeps it maintained, but not shaven. Right, like the triangle. Mm-hmm. Maybe or like, it's like the trimmed, trimmed at least. Name. Trimmed at the very least. Yeah, but he'll he'll has he'll have his lazy month, you know. And it doesn't matter. But we're kind of escaping here. So you guys are so, talking about a man's pubes right now. That's funny. <laughs> You're the, you're the you're the from you, that's no, like, like he, he he shaves a landing stripe in it, dude. Like you gotta think of the artistic value he has to his pubes. Okay. <laughs> like why I got a fucking hard? push. Like okay, this guy's a, like I don't doubt. Just... Yeah. <laughs> All right, learning new things about <laughs> Kelly. If you want, if you want to, we yeah, got so time. He... It's cold out here. I gotta keep it on. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, this would be a perfect segue if we were like sponsored by Manscaped. By Manscaped. God damn. <laughs> if you have a circumcised penis or even an uncircumcised penis, you can keep yourself maintained and well trimmed. Lawnmower 3.0. <laughs> Literally sponsor us. That'd be fucking awesome. Um, but where he was going with that was my topic is yeah. where do the foreskins go? So when a, when a person is circumcised, what happens to the skin that was on the penis that gets cut off? I've heard a bunch of gross stories that, like, back then, priests would perform circumcisions, and they would get the skin, roll it in their tongue, and dip it in wine. That's fucking off. <laughs> you said priests? What was that? You said priests? I think priests performed it, yeah. Roll it. And put it on their tongue? So, no, on the priest's tongue. Like, they would roll it on... Like, they would dip it in wine, roll it up, and put it in their tongue. And eat it. Or I don't know about it. eating. Why would you eat it? You got plenty well, of hours. Why would you that. suck on it? What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> why would you do it? There. <laughs> like in the in the POV of the fucking priest, you know? Not me personally. <laughs> I'm aware you're hearing these stories, but what the fuck? foreskin roll? That might have been a joke oh. from somewhere, but that's always something I've always that's the other thing too. Did. I actually don't know how like circumcisions are like performed. Like, do you take off like the ring of flesh or do you like Kind of like take off like snip it like I don't know wrapping paper, like do you take it off like that or do you just snip off the ring? I couldn't just. Mm. I'm I don't know why. That's a good question. Okay, so so I think okay, so, so there's, there's so the excess. How, how can I make this a visual? We're gonna make this a visual. <laughs> okay. I really hope yeah, you guys are really watching the podcast. Like, okay. Hopefully everyone's watching the podcast. Okay. So there's... I, I know. I know. I know. Okay. All right, so he has, oh. a, he has a paper bag right now. Yeah, I have oh. a paper bag. Okay, so so say... Okay, so there's the skin. Right. So, okay, the, so the, imagine, the imagine that there's a dick in the center of this. Obviously. So this is the part that would be the hood that goes over the right, head. Right, right, right. So do they go snip and, like, take it off? Or do they just go snip and it's just, like, a ring of flesh? I would imagine they, like... I think they, like, cut it down to, like, below the head. Right. And then... Yeah, cut yeah. the circumference of it. So they and cut it And they'll sew it back together. 
yeah, they'll cut it down, and then the circumference of it, like, all around it. Wait, they cut it all the way down? Cut it down to, like, the point where it's not, like, an excess amount going over right, the head. Right, right, right. Like, because on, on a circumcised dick, there's, there's a scar line. Right, right, right. And so that's where they, like, sew it back together. So they'll cut it down to, like, the point where they think it's not an excess amount of skin. Right. And then they'll cut around so that, like, there's still an amount, like, going from the head to, like, I don't know, three quarters away up the shaft. Right, right. And then they'll sew it together there, and then that's where it heals, and then that's where it stays forever. So then there's, like, a couple inches of just, or, I guess, of a just like a, so like a, like a like little a fortune wall. cookie of foreskin. Like the, like the fortune of a fortune cookie of foreskin. Can you dip that fortune cookie in wine? <laughs> Ew. <laughs> so, so, so that I was think my question, like, like, I saw, I saw, like, a, I saw a picture. You know, they, like, I think they stretch it over. They put, like, this weird, like, cuff around it. I think it cuts it and it kind of like, like it's like right after like below the 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 headline, you know what I mean? Yeah, right. So you like so stretch is it, it is up. it like one of those like shear cutters, like just like a rent, like a circular blade I, kind of thing? No, I'm there's this probably specialty tool you use for it. Uh, the one that I saw it had one. Now I kind of want to like research it. And I don't want to like watch video a video about, about that. Yeah, what's you now? I don't want to watch a video about but it. But our main question here is what happens to the skin after the circumcision? Right, like what oh. happens to the excess skin? Like where does the force skin go? Like there's there's the obvious like, oh like they just throw it out, but like what if? What if like someone just keeps like a jar of formaldehyde <laughs> with four skins all in? Uh, tons of baby foreskin all in a jar. Or uh, baby foreskin. Some people get circumcised. Yeah, there are no that get foreskinned. You probably should. I <laughs> get foreskinned. Adults that get foreskin. Yeah. It's like it's, it's like someone like playing chess with like slightly bigger foreskins. <laughs> like the game. Check chess? mate. Chess with foreskin. Yeah, like the smaller ones are like the pawns. And, and then like, there's like the middle, like teenagers. The black ones are like, the oh, mom, I'm what? insecure. Can I get... <laughs> <laughs> the black ones are the castles, you know? Oh my gosh. I, I think... I, mean, I, God. So, I think realistically saying, they probably just throw it away. There's probably a part where yeah, they just realistically, throw it away. They probably, realistically, but they... But just imagine a doctor... Full on degrees, fucking out the wazoo, like highly respected doctor, just with a mason jar with formaldehyde and like seventy <laughs> different colored foreskin. Imagine in that jar, just ima- a rainbow of foreskin. Imagine a doctor that changed professions and like became a dentist, and you're just sitting there in the office. There's like a jar of foreskins. It's like, what? What's what that? It's like, oh, that's just my jar of foreskin. <laughs> Just yeah, Imagine a foreskin <laughs> transplant. You get like a black foreskin. It's all baggy. Jerry just walked in. I'm talking about foreskin. Oh, uh, yeah. We're just talking about foreskin. Yeah, Janelle walked in too, though. Kind of just like. He's dismissing a lot of the things. What the fuck are they talking about? So, like, when they say, like, say, like, obvious, so you guys are saying the obvious answer is they throw it away, right? So, what the fuck do they do with the bag of thrown away foreskins, though? You just toss foreskins into the landfill? No, I think they incinerate. They're not a valuable, like, commodity. It's everyone's. (laughs) They're really not. Okay, okay, okay. So, there was a. Dorkly episode where oh. they had like the Pokemon Ninjask or whatever I think it is, a uh, Ninja Mask. It's like the bug Pokemon that looks like a little ninja, okay. and then there's like the other Pokemon that like stems from that. Like it was its shell, but now it's like a ghost shell, mm-hmm. and like, uh, so the story is like this guy comes up to this ghost shell, talks to it, it's like, so like you're just like a sentient like like husk. Does that mean my foreskin's a Pokemon? 
Yeah, you, you feel the phantom pain of your foreskin. Yeah, like, like if you guys ever wondered whatever happened to your little buddy? My little buddy. Your little buddy. Um, like, having your foreskin, like, it's like, I bet it feels like, I heard it feels really nice to have a foreskin because it's like extra like lubrication and it lubes up your dick and stuff. Yeah, no. and you have like the protective yeah. nerve endings. Use it. It's it's like okay, so at least in my experience, which <laughs> surprise everybody, Hector already fucking revealed this in a previous episode. I'm not circumcised. Um, I so for my experience, it is like it's a protecting thing, but it's also like so in the fucking way. Uh, as far as like sex and shit goes, it actually like it actually stimulates a lot better apparently for yeah. uh, for the your partner. Um, but it's it really gets in the way. At least for me, I know for a lot of people who aren't circumcised, it's not actually always the case. Um, I heard it's hard to clean. It is hard to clean. Yes, it's like spraying like. How do I explain this? It's like filling a water bowl, water bottle full of water, sloshing it around, and like trying to get all the soap out. What? Well, don't you gotta like peel it back and just yeah, okay, yeah, so yeah. So I've like... heard different stories. Like I have a friend that is not circumcised as well, and like it's 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 a totally different thing. Like he doesn't have much trouble with cleaning it. You just gotta get started on it early, and like then you're able to keep a main team. A maintenance on it and then it's like fine it's whatever i think if you let it build too much obviously it's gonna get tougher can i just lay it's my nice like foreskin fire. trauma on you guys yeah can Come i just on, can man. i just tell you guys my foreskin trauma okay <laughs> maybe it's harder for me to clean it and maybe i have troubles because when i was a boy uh my parents when i went to the doctor for i guess my dick i don't i don't recall like them like saying, "Hey, we're going to the doctor for your dick," but I guess it was for my dick. Mm-hmm. Um, anytime like they said, "Oh, he just has to like clean it; don't want it to like get infected or something like that." Uh, I was a kid. I didn't like. I just fucking washed myself. I didn't think anything of it. Obviously, mm-hmm. my mom or my dad had to wrestle me as a as like a toddler in the shower to fucking like peel that shit back and clean it. Like, that shit hurts oh, so shit. bad. And I think that's because I didn't, like, consciously do it because I didn't think anything of it. Like, mm-hmm. early on, maybe. But I was also Did still... Did because they were, like, scrubbing it? Or... I don't really remember what the pain super stemmed from. I feel like it was easier back then to peel it back. It might have just been the cleaning portion. And, like, them wrestling me in general to do it. So... Yeah... You probably just remember them playing with your dick. Like, <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's so fucking hard to talk about. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's god. it's really not that bad now. But like, I mean, just thinking way back when, like, I wonder like how many other people share my problems. Or if it's, like, literally just me. <laughs> I'm sure it's a ton of people. Yeah. I don't know. How many How many people have had their parents wrestle them when they were a toddler to clean their, their clean hood? Their, their hood. Their hood. <laughs> I guess. You have a rare story. You should, the world you should spread it. Know. The world needs to know. The world needs to know. Uh, sorry, Kelly. I don't, I don't like the term spread it. That actually <laughs> PTSD. Sorry. <laughs> They peel, peel it. it back. Peel it and peel scrub it. That it sounds hard. so bad. Do not say peel. Okay. Peel <laughs> sounds fucking atrocious. Oh my god. Oh, that would hurt if it wasn't traumatic. What the fuck? God. That's like a little fucking banana. Beep, beep, beep. What about unroll? <laughs> Is <it> unfurl. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god alright you know what I am <laughs> I don't know I don't I don't know if we have time for this last one um there is one after this no there is uh do you want to save it for later Kelly or do you want to try to fit it in now mm, uh, I think we're good here I think, yeah I think we're fine we can do it next time 
Yeah, we're at 110 right now. All right. Kelly, you get to close us out. Ooh. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. I'm having so much fun talking to you. With these you fools about like four skins. Robot, Kelly. What? <laughs> Do I? He said yeah, so depressing. Some, some oh, no. I'm like smiling spirit. through the entire damn thing. Yo. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I have a lot of fun. We're going to do this next time. See, peace. And then my hands covering up like the camera and then titles. Oh, and yeah. Then, you did so like a little. Oh, it's it. Make sure you don't peel your foreskins. And if you want to add an extra inch to your penis, listen to our <laughs> other episodes. Uh, and we'll see you. you in the next one, guys. Yeah. See ya.